Hello everybody, welcome in. Emperor Bubbles is here and we have a huge showdown. I believe this is Russian versus Russian Assair taking on Tilla in a massive Total War League Season 12 battle. Not sure who's who. The replays did not give me that. I don't know why. But uh, let's just check out Saba. Saba rocking some slingers. Four slingers, five slingers. And by the way, look at how spread these formations are. Pretty, uh, pretty intense. Uh, here comes the melee for Saba. Sabian swords, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. And then a lot of damage on the camel side. Two armored camel spearmen on the flanks. Camel cataphracts in the center. He's got two, three, and four with the Marib general. His opponent is Bactria. And I think we got the eight horse archer. Well, it looks like there's a Tarantine. So we got seven horse archers, four Scythians, uh, one Tarantine, and three of the regular horse archers. Melee, Bactrian Hillman, three Hillman with two Thorax swords, and a lot of melee cavalry. Citizen Cav. I think he's got one Citizen Cav, and then the rest, Noble Horse, three, four, and five, with the Bactrian Roll Cav General, seven minutes on the clock. It's been uh, it's been a long time since I've had a battle on the YouTube. It's great to be back, watch some high level gameplay. As look at how far spread out both armies are. I mean, uh, particularly uh, with the green banners, Saba. Even pushing it out further, this is you know I like this. You're preventing you're preventing these horse archers. We're well, not preventing them. You're giving them a tough time to get them around. So it looks like Saba is going to use those armored camel spearmen to potentially fend them off. So we'll see what he chooses to do here as Saba, wasting no time to push forward and take care of business. Saba, best camel cataphracts in the game. Like to see them, you know, bringing five of them here with the Maribs in general, not, not for the cost, but the ribs are the best. You know, the Sabian's very, very uh, good on the cost side. This is uh, these slingers being fired upon by those Bactrian horse archers. And now back to the end, pretty interesting faction. You could bring some elite elephants. Uh, so you, could, uh, you have an elephant rush uh, available. Uh, you've got decent horse archers, as you see here, bringing the Scythians and the regular Bactrian horse archers. So you're just utilizing that the best of their ability and the cool thing about Sapa is they got decent mid-tier melee so bring some Sabian swords you can even get some uh, axe gat marauders those guys will do a good job as the five slinger approach from Saba look like they're just trying to prevent the horse archers probably had a feeling there's gonna be some horse archers maybe wasn't planning for eight but that is what is upon this battle now as just something that I can see. You know, only two Thorax Swords, three Hillmen. Their Cataphracts, you know, the battle of the match here is going to be against those Bactrian Noble Horse. Because you're not going to have too much difficulty getting rid of these Hillmen. If you're Bactria, you know, you're not only worrying about five Slingers, you, you got to put some pressure on them, but then also these, you know, Sabian Swords, so you're outnumbered. Not to be on top of your Cav gameplays. We've got four and a half minutes We'll see if this one gets to conclusion or if there's going to be a rage quit. And here comes a Pilum. Nice Pilum. It looks like the calf was not even focused. Some hits going up and down on each side. The Tarantine Cavalry going to pound that slinger. The Sabian Camel Cataphrax going to get in. Not sure how much damage the slinger is going to take. And they're actually going to take qu quite a bit. I guess it was a Tarantino. I was thinking it was a horse archer pushing. You see that Hillman already gone. Hillman certainly not going to be a problem. Those Thorax swords should crumble after just, you know, a couple charges. But every Pila that gets off from these Hillman is going to be big. Here comes one. Wait. Okay, there it is. I was like, what, what just happened there? So not killing any units. But in we go. Just, just a lot of damage up and down the board. Trying to see who's got the upper handle. I mean, Saba's got the balance of power. 
You see one noble horse go down there, 23 men. So all these horse archers are still in the game. I think Sapa's done a good job, but Sapa has forced the engagement. And as you know, Baxter has not fired all of their missile on the horse archers. So here we go, here comes the Scythians. What kind of damage can they do to those slingers? Pretty good, killing 20. You can see the reinforcements coming. Really trying to fend off those horse archers. They're gonna get hit by those cataphracts and they're gonna be caught and they are going to rout. It's a huge catch there, just getting rid of at least one. Looks like the other is sticking around, but that one is gonna go as well. See Sabian's swords right there on that Thorax sword. Again, committing, Baxter committing that horse archer. This Thorax sword actually did a pretty good job. 84 kills and still quite a few men. Look at all these green banners. Even the guys, cataphracts do very well in melee, which is pretty uh, pretty interesting considering they're a cataphract. You know, they're pretty even. Looks like it's just a slight winning factor for that noble horse. But here comes the armored camel spearman. And putting the pressure on those Bactrians. Look at that. Look at Saba just controlling the battle dominating the battle, performing to the highest capacity, spreading the army out wide, quite frankly just eliminating his opponent. But uh, where there's a will, there's a way, Bactria wants to find a way back into the battle. You got lots of Sabian swords, two Sabian swords, some Cav left, and all those slingers. It's looking pretty dire for the Bactrians. Now the horse archers having to get in. You know, you had, what, five, six noble horse cav, and guess what? They're all about dead. You've got the general and three others. And three others, and they're tied down on those Sabian swords, trying, trying their best to get the job done. It's so now these slingers. Looks like three slingers survived, so two slingers were killed. Some three standing is now the general is in for Baxter, and he's gonna be targeted 100% by those Sabian slingers, as you can see right now. Yep, 37. Already losing a couple men and a Pila. The Sabian swords. So now we saw him at 39. He is down to 25 men, 14 killed. Bloody, bloody battle. This looks like the general wants to crush the Thorax sword. Wait. Oh, they're gonna have a big hit. No big hit. Yet. He is gonna instead of focus his efforts on the double horse. There goes the faction general, and there goes the game. Samba, complete performance and a complete domination of the game plan. Executed to perfection as each is finished. Not taking any time. Teaching his enemy a lesson. It's Tilla who gets the victory. And a Sarah dropping another game. Good game from Tilla. And uh, of course, a good effort from our defending champion, a Sarah. You can see, man, those slingers, yeah, they are they are a threat. But honestly, it allowed, you know, it forced Baxter to put their put their cavalry into some unfortunate you know, unfavorable situations that uh Saba pushed with some cav, got rid of those horse archers. And the rest was history. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, glory be upon thee and glory to the Empire.